Hello fellow model railroaders. Welcome back to DG Model Works. Uh, I want to give you a quick look at the newest release of the Atherin Genesis SD70M with flared radiators. Uh, really nice looking locomotive and I'll give you a close up look at that here pretty soon. Uh, I want to say you might have seen in the background of this uh, running that uh, there is another one of these sitting on the track and that happened to be from uh, one of their older releases uh, way back around 2014 I believe I bought that years ago and never even had it out of the box so uh, it's still straight DC I can't really show you anything on that as far as uh, running um, but I brought it out just to compare to see if there was uh, anything that changed uh, over the years with this uh, latest release uh, I did buy this one uh, just straight DC and uh, as you heard it does have sound uh, I installed uh, ESU Loc sound in this um, so this isn't going to be a straight up complete review video uh, because you can buy these with sound but they are uh, Tsunami 2 so I can't really cover that but uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this I, I like these locomotives I really do uh, especially if you're a Norfolk Southern fan um, so We'll just uh, jump on the other side of the camera here and we'll give you uh, some closer looks at this. Right off the bat you're going to notice a ton of detail on this thing and uh, we'll move around this and uh, I'll show you uh, some of these details close up. As we look at the front uh, we have the standard details such as uh, separately applied grab irons and such. Um, these, this new run does come with uh, rubber MU hoses. Uh, you will notice there uh, is a KD coupler on the front of this. Uh, I actually swapped out the, the McHenry plastic couplers uh, with KDs whenever I installed my uh, decoder in this. So these do not come with KD couplers. That is one thing I kind of wish Atherin would switch to. And you notice I have the lighting on. Uh, this new run of course has LED lighting. I am so happy that uh, Atherin switched to LEDs. And in fact this one it looks like the ditch lights might be a little bit brighter than the headlight which is actually kind of backwards from uh, what usually happens with most manufacturers you end up with uh, a real nice looking headlight and rather dim ditch lights but these ditch lights are uh, nice and bright there's no complaint there now one nice thing with this latest release is it comes with a 21 pin uh, board inside so if you have it uh, DCC and sound from the factory uh, you're ready to go. If not, uh, you can uh, install a 21 pin decoder in that and the real nice feature is they have the LED lights all separate on their own functions on the board so if you're a Norfolk Southern fan and you need them the ditch lights to alternate and flash that's easy to do because they are already separated and on their own functions. As you can see, I have it set up that way. Since I installed my own decoder, I had to program them to do that. Um, but I'd rather program than have to separate wires and everything. So that's a really, really cool feature. I'm glad they did that. As you can see, we do have a see-through grill here. Um, the windows do look tinted, actually, uh, looking at that. And you've got your sunshade, your mirrors, lots of truck detail down here. Lots of piping. We'll take a closer look at that. Here we can take a little bit closer look at the uh, lettering and numbering and check that out. Auto start equipped. Pretty cool. You can read it. Here's a closer look at the truck detail that I wanted to talk about. Um, definitely has a lot of uh, separately applied sanding lines. We have lines right here, right here. Uh, back in here there's big sanding lines there. Lots of lots of detail that's uh, applied to this model. Now check this out. You can see they have the step lighting in here too. Now this is non-functioning, but uh, the light housing itself is there, so that's pretty cool. Now none of these grills are see-through, but I do like the uh, different color that they applied to them. Makes them stand out a little bit better. And pretty much uh, the standard stuff on the back too. And we got LED lighting also in the back. And there are enough functions that we do have uh, alternating ditch lights 
on the back too. It's uh, very, very cool. I do want to uh, show you the rooftop here a little bit. Lots of uh, lift rings. Really, really nice. And this one does come with a PTC antenna array. And something to note, uh, if you can see the fans in there, uh, they actually uh, are able to, to be moved. I mean, there's nothing that moves them, but when I took the shell off to install the decoder, I did notice that uh, they were free, so they would move. I'm not sure how much of an extra feature that really is, because you can't really do much with it. So, what is the difference between the new release and the old release? Um, they are virtually identical as far as detail. I haven't noticed anything different other than the old one does not have a PTC antenna array like the new one. And the old one still uses incandescent bulbs. The new one is all LED lighting, which is a huge plus for a lot of modelers. So, another thing uh, as far as internals, uh, the new one comes with 21 pin style uh, board. And the old one is still the 9 pin setup. Uh, so there are definitely a lot more functions available on the new one as far as lighting. And again, the ditch lights and all the headlights and everything are separate on their own functions in the new one. Uh, the old one, uh, the ditch lights are usually wired in with the headlight. Other than that, uh, you'd have a hard time telling these apart just by looking at them. The only difference on the surface that would stand out would be the PTC antenna arrays. Other than that, they look the same. Now, like I said, I installed ESU Loke Sound in this. Uh, it is a version 4.0 decoder. The only programming I have done so far is the programming for the light functions, so I could have alternating ditch lights. Usually, you have to do some sort of uh, motor tweaking uh, with the programming, or if you have a version 5.0, you can try the auto-tune. But I did not have to do anything with this right out of the box. I was really impressed. Watch this. I'll increase to uh, speed step one. And it will start moving. Nice and smooth and slow. I might not have to do any of that. Except for speed matching later on. But. And I can't complain about that. At all. Well, there you have it. I gotta say, as a Norfolk Southern fan, I absolutely love the SD70Ms with the flared radiators. And, man, I really like this model. This also uh, is available right now in the uh, Grey Ghost uh, paint scheme uh, with the primer, all primer. So, if you're interested in these, uh, look that up. Uh, it does not have the PTC antenna array, though, uh, simply for the fact that the, the era that... Uh, you would have seen those on the rails uh, was before the mandatory PTC antenna array situation. Uh, but uh, man, I gotta say, great looking models. Uh, so no complaints from me. Alright guys, that's all I have. I'll see you next time.